So yeah, anyway, happy Sunday, everyone. It is Sunday, May 30th, 2021, and it is the decade of COVID. Yeah, anyway, it's so weird. Uh, the wedding um, preparations are going forward. It is weird because of COVID and we had to, they had to cut down the guest list and we have to know who's vaccinated and who isn't because that depends on where they get seated and what they can and can't do. Like it's a whole thing. Like I'll let you know how it comes out. It's just a thing. <sighs> anyway, yeah. I am here. I was finishing up gluing their uh, fire ceremony ceramic lotus thing back together that was shipped over from a family friend from Lithuania. It got broken in transit and so I fixed it. It's all done now, it's downstairs. I gotta let the kids know I haven't done that yet. I was grabbing a couple scraps of fabric that are the colors of a couple of dresses I need to alter because um, I need to go get some thread today and make sure I have the right colors, which I don't keep lots of thread around anymore because I don't do weddings anymore. So I need to, yeah. I'll get a couple of varying shades, so hopefully I have something that's close. That's how that works. Um, what else? I need to finish the sugar skull puzzle today. I need to do June 1 through at least five daily artwork drawings and stuff ahead of time because I that's going to be right when the wedding is happening and there's going to be no, um, there's going to be no time. If I have time to do daily drawing during that time, then I'll be surprised. So I'm going to try to do them ahead. Um, what else do I have to do today? I feel like there's something else and I can't think of what it is. Edit video? Today or tomorrow I have to edit video and also do the weekly posts and schedule those out for the week. <sighs> Plus the landscaper's coming by to hopefully finish the landscaping today. He's had problems with his work vehicles, so I don't know. Hopefully. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Okay, hey, yes, we should have probably been doing other things, but the husband helped me and guess what? We got it done. Yay! Okay, so we are back kind of on schedule with what I needed to get done before the wedding festivities start this weekend. Um, I also just really wanted to see it done we did think for a minute that it was either missing a piece or we lost a piece, but we actually found it on the floor. Um, this was really hard, and there's a reason I don't generally do thousand piece puzzles. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to three to 500. I love puzzling, but thousand piece puzzles are just not my jam. That being said, I see another one up here. I am pretty sure the kids got me these. So here's another one, thousand piece puzzle. I am gonna kill them, I swear to God. I love puzzling. Oh, there's two of them up here. Holy cow, they really have to stop doing the thousand pieces. Holy crap. Anyway, everybody. so it is Monday morning, May 31st. Is it? Yes, May 31st. Um, Memorial Day here in the United States. And anyways, so I've been working on the computer right there. Uh, editing the vlog. It's rendering. I've got a few more videos on the SD card from the camera and honestly I've forgotten exactly what's on the SD card. But yeah, we'll edit whatever's on there. Try to get it all loaded today. That's my goal. And then if I have time before this afternoon's barbecue, I will be working on the daily drawing journals ahead. But if I don't have time today, I should have time tomorrow morning to do that. So I'm not too far behind, but while this video is rendering, I'm gonna go try to do the dishes, which is also something I need to do before people come over. And Bob is out. Good morning, everybody. It is, what time is it? 10.37 a.m. and I am headed, obviously in the car, I'm headed over to the beauty salon because we're getting my hair done one last time before the kids' wedding. A little trim and some toner to get rid of some more of the yellow, all the things for the things because of the things. Anyway, I also have to stop and pick up coffee on the way back because we're running low. And I, any other messages the daughter like texts me to like go do this or go do that. I think most of that's going to be on. Um, one of her bridesmaids, Allison, who is coming in later tonight, and she's actually staying with us. Um, 
and I am also going to be having her dress, so it's good that she's staying with us so I can get that done. Um, I was up early-ish this morning posting on Facebook to a couple of different groups that are associated with the class that I'm teaching with Bea Grob, Petra Fuchs, Marie Linder, Peg Robinson, and Chelsea, and I have bonus content for my share of the class that I was sharing in the two groups. One group is for all the teachers and all the students, and the other one is for people just interested in my portion of the class. I don't know if that's gonna work. We'll see, this is the first time I'm doing something like that. Um, going forward, if I do this again, people may not want a separate group. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, right now I am in traffic, I'm trying to get to the freeway so I can get to my hair appointment. I moved the serger to the art table. Uh, I have this dress I bought at Fred Meyer not long ago. I got a really good deal on it. Uh, and um, it's a really cute dress. It's a very cute dress. It's actually two sizes smaller than I used to wear. Yeah, anyway. Um, it's too long for me. Uh, I love the dress, but and I think it's supposed to be like mid-calf or just below mid-calf ankle length like it, it touches the floor on me i'm short fun fact so i'm gonna shorten it by about eight inches <laughs> holy cow i'm also going to take the ties off that are around the neck because i don't need those on there um i may just cut them off we'll see anyway first i'm gonna um shorten it i already pinned the ruffle it has a ruffle but I pinned the ruffle up, yeah. And I have a serger, so I can just sew this. It'll do the same kind of stitch, the overlocking stitch, and cut the extra fabric off all at the same time. So that works perfect. So we're gonna get that done uh, for our first round of alterations. Do one of my own. I also tuck, cut, tucked, I also forgot how to speak English today anyway. I also cut the care label off of the garment. I do think as I'm sewing this, I might put it back on. So I remember what the fabric content is. Um, it's rayon, but I mean, just because I'll put it back on. All right, let's get it done. Eight. 20 after 9 sorry I was wrong um, it's finally below 90 degrees so we're out getting some steps in it was uh I think the high was 97 where we are in Oregon today and to be honest we're kind of enjoying the last few minutes of sort of peace and quiet before the wedding craziness starts <laughs> so we're getting some steps in and enjoying the peace and quiet and drinking my water because have I said it's hot? It's hot. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Oh, I'm listening. Now they've suddenly shut up. But yeah, it's hot and humid. The frogs are loving it. It is 10, 14 a.m. Wednesday. June 2nd, I believe. We are headed, obviously we're in the car. We're headed out to go help run last minute wedding errands. So, yeah. It's a hot 75. It's a hot 75 already this morning. We're supposed to hit at least 90 again today. And then tomorrow we're supposed to be um, dropping temperature. Thank goodness, finally. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so and our hanging bird, our hanging flower basket by the front door, the new one we just put in not long ago, already has a baby bird nest in it and one egg. And mama bird does not like when we water that plant, but she does come right back. So fun fact. 
anyway, we are going to go find some things that my daughter is looking for for the wedding and try to help her out. And one of the bridesmaids is doing the same and we're going to kind of text each other if we need help finding stuff. And yeah, it's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Plymouth Barracuda decided to die at the kids' house and decided to, uh, yeah, need to get towed home. Hence the tow truck. Now we have to try to maneuver it into the garage so it's put away for the wedding or until Bob can get it to the shop to get fixed. Uh, I think it's a fuel pump. Anyway, um, that's going to be fun. Not. Hey, dear. Hey. hey, see? Hi. Oh, and this back over here who you saw? That's Allison. Say hi. Hello. So, yeah. Um, it is a power steering car, but it's not running. So any of you who have tried to steer a car like that? Yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's fun. <laughs> Good morning. It is Thursday morning, uh, about 1130-ish. Thursday morning. Obviously, we're in the car. Uh, so yeah, wedding celebrations commence shortly. Uh, we have a church blessing this afternoon. Wedding rehearsal for the main celebration tomorrow. And a big celebration and hand fasting on Saturday. And then Sunday open house brunch thing. And then Monday, maybe a couple of lingering friends over. And then Tuesday, I'm just gonna just turn everything off and shut the door and pretend I'm not home. <laughs> it's a lot. The church ceremony uh, and blessing is over and I will insert a clip here. I probably have to take the sound out for obvious copyright reasons, but. just before four now so uh, yeah it's all good and then Saturday is the hand fasting I know so you can't you know they were gonna get married with a big giant wedding and then COVID happened so then they just had a legal ceremony and then had to put everything else off so they figured you know if we have to put everything off we're gonna just have fun with it so they've had a legal wedding a church wedding and then Saturday they have a hand fasting. That's a lot of weddings. <laughs> That's a lot of weddings. Yep. Anyway. Well, like I says, three tries to get his anniversary correct. 
He does, correct. So he has three tries to get the presents right, so you know. <laughs> yeah, to remember the cards. Yeah, but the question of the day is going to be for their for, for their anniversaries. Is she going to be mad if she doesn't get cards for all three anniversaries? Right. So that's going to be a thing. All right. I will be back. Say hi to Grandpa. <coughs> Who's that? This YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, uh, hi YouTube. See, there you go. So we've had a whole week of crazy wedding, family planning parties. I'm exhausted. Can you tell by these? Maybe not, because I got them from him. They're his fault. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so we're having the last event today. It's gonna to be an open house. I'll film what I can, but no guarantees because like the last few days have been insane. Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I checked in. <laughs> it has been crazy. We have the last of our house guests left this morning. It is Monday morning, June 7th, 10, 9, 10 a.m. Holy cow. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a week. Any of you who have planned a big event know how crazy the week before the event can get. And th this was crazy. It was it was a week. It was very people-y. It was the first people-y thing that any of us have done since COVID. And of course, we did it safely and took all the preca necessary precautions. But, um, you know, it involved a lot of last minute running around trying to get things that we needed and... There was a church blessing and then a dinner afterwards and then a rehearsal dinner and a dinner afterwards and then a larger wedding celebration and hand fasting and a dinner afterwards and then an open house the next day. Like it was just, it was a lot. I haven't done any art since like Tuesday last week. It's been almost a week. I'm ready to like turn the phones off and just shut the door. <laughs> Pretend I'm not home. But I can't do that because there's other stuff going on this week because we're back to regular life. So anyway, it was a lot of fun. I'm very happy for the kids. They finally got the wedding celebration that they wanted when COVID started and derailed everything. I will also say that the event venue, the old schoolhouse was gorgeous and fabulous. And the staff was just very, very lovely. And Robin, our very determined and very efficient wedding planner that helped the kids out was just fabulous. I'm going to leave links for both businesses down below. If you are in the Portland, Oregon or Newburgh, Oregon area, I do recommend you check them out if you're having some sort of big party or event or wedding or something that you need to take care of. 
I wouldn't recommend anyone else. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm very tired. There's no lighting on the planet right now in here that can help with these. <laughs> I've put on five or six layers of puffy eye gel and it helped a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just a lot. Anyway, we have some friends from California that are still in town uh, for another day. And so I think we're going to meet with them for lunch and we are going to, um, we have to go to the grocery store. <laughs> I, I know... You know, if I had done any filming, <laughs> oh, you guys, so much food. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think that as the mother of the bride and the last person at the event, you know, before, after everyone else left besides the staff, because I am that person that will stay and make sure everything is okay and the staff doesn't need anything and then there's no questions and that they... I, I wanted to help. Well, I guess I could help by taking all of the kids' decor that they owned home. And then the caterer said, wait, wait, we have food. And then the bartender said, wait, we have liquor left over. You own it all, so you've got to take it. So thankfully, a couple of old college friends of ours and um, one of the bridesmaids stayed behind and her boyfriend. Thank you, Allison and Phil. And thank you, Andy. We appreciate you all so, so, so much. Um, and Allison and Jenny and uh, Phil and Brian, we love you all so much. You helped so much on the day of the open house. Can't thank you enough. Um, anyway, they all helped and they helped us load up their cars because there was just too much for my little Subaru. I wasn't gonna be able to fit it all in there. So they helped get all of it back here to the house. And literally my fridge was full to the gills with just open house food and wedding food and then the um, leftover food after the church blessing ceremony we had food back here at the house so we had leftovers from that and it was just, it was just a lot we got rid of 99 percent of it at the open house yay what didn't get eaten got given away and so it's all good. So now I can get back to rights and I can get the few things that we need that we're out of that we use every day. Like I need some more bone broth and a few things like that. And then we can get back to normal. We do get our new door in the dining room in this week. Uh, and um, so that project is going to be going on. I also am going to be making a trip up to my dad's probably on Saturday uh to help him out with some few things now that we know mom's not coming home he needs some help with some organizing and purging up the house so i'm gonna go up and help him with that which means i need to do a trip to walmart first and get some bins and uh yeah i guess i have video to edit because i've got something to do with all of this i don't know so anyway it's going to be a weird vlog it's probably going to have an extra couple of days in it i don't know it's going to be strange so stick with me though, maybe. <laughs> uh, I have, of course, a lot of projects I'm working on and stuff I wanna film for you all. Now that things are so maybe supposedly getting back to normal, we can get that done, maybe. All right, that's it for the minute. Please check out the video description for all the relevant links and support the free content here on YouTube and the Facebook art groups if you can. There's links on how to do that down below, including the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and a bunch of other students, um, other teachers right now. The students are really enjoying it. I think you will too. So check out the link down below. What else? Uh, you can buy some of my art foamies I've designed using the link down below. There's a link tree list of links, which includes my Etsy shop, social media, where you can follow me and all that stuff. Anyway, check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of future weirdness. And most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask if you're required to. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. I think I need a nap. <laughs> Bye.